Hello and welcome to From Then Till Now. My name's Kyle, and in today's episode, we're going to be learning all about castles. What are they for, and how do they work? A castle is defined as the fortified residence of an aristocrat or a noble, and functioned as the seat of administrative power for the surrounding area. A castle is distinct from either a manor or a fortress, in that it combines the residential function of the manor with the military function of the fortress. Although fortification and wall building has existed since ancient times, including the construction of walls around cities and the building of purely military defensive positions, the development of the traditional castle corresponds closely with the growth and development of feudalism in Western Europe from the 9th century onwards. These constructs evolved from hill forts and were initially constructed largely from wood and earth. Their development and spread were spurred to a large degree by the political instability and widespread warfare that followed first the fall of the Roman Empire in the West, and then the end of the Carolingian Empire founded by Charlemagne. As we shall discuss in the role of the castle, the weakening of central government power contributed to the drive for local nobles to protect themselves and their local region from raids and armed attack. The castle changed and developed over time, but the classic medieval castle had a number of typical features. The first, and perhaps most obvious, was a wall surrounding the other buildings of the castle. Typically built of stone and up to 12 metres tall, the wall had to be both tall enough to make climbing over, called scaling the walls, difficult, and thick enough that it could not be battered down with artillery, such as catapults, trebuchets, or eventually cannons. The wall could also be protected by surrounding water, called a moat. This made approaching the walls to climb or attack much more difficult. The gate or gatehouse was the door enabling travel into or out of the area protected by the walls, and being designed to open and close was the weakest section of the walls, and for this reason was often the focus of fighting to capture the castle. The gate would be reinforced by innovations throughout the medieval period, including the portcullis, a grill or grate that provided an extra layer of defence for the gate, murder holes, gaps or openings above the gate that allowed large stones to be dropped on any attackers or arrows to be fired downwards, and the barbican, a form of mini fortress designed to further protect the gate and gatehouse area. Within the castle walls were typically a number of smaller buildings designed to house and support the fighting men inside, but the most important building within the walls was the keep. The keep was the centre point of the castle and an extra stronghold within the walls. If the outer walls were breached or captured, the defenders could retreat to the keep and barricade themselves inside. Castles were built all across Europe, in a wide variety of locations. Any location that the local nobles needed to protect or secure for themselves was a potential candidate for a castle. Three famous castles and some good visual examples include Crack de Chevaliers. Construction was completed in 1170, built by the Knights Hospitalier to secure a wide area of territory within the county of Tripoli in modern day Syria, an area captured during the Crusades. Cardona Castle in Catalonia in modern Spain is built atop a hill overlooking both a fertile river valley and the local town. The location was first fortified in 886 and developed further over time. This castle is a good example of how castles were used by the nobles to exert control over their local area. In this case, good quality farming land in the valley and an important local town. Finally, Carcassonne in France. Famous as one of the best preserved medieval sites in Europe, Carcassonne was a fortified town that incorporated a citadel. Historically, it sat across a trade route and was an important military position on the border between the kingdoms of France and Aragon. For hundreds of years, castles were an important feature of European life. Physically dominating the landscape, they enabled local nobles to economically dominate society through the feudal system. It was not until the end of the medieval period that the importance of castles would begin to fade, but that is a topic for another video. Thanks everyone for watching. This has been From Then Till Now with Kyle. Please like and subscribe and comment in the section below for any topics you'd like to see covered in a future video.